So here we have a rate of change of profit. And it's the classic example from uh, basic economics. So a toy company can sell X electronic gaming systems at a price P, little p here, uh, and that equals negative 100th X plus $400 per gaming system. So the price depends on how many uh, they sell or put out there on the market. The cost of, max, of manufacturing X systems is given by C of X equals 100 X plus $10,000. We want to find the rate of change of profit when 10,000 games are produced. Should the toy company increase or decrease production? All right, let's take a peek. So let's see. First, we have to deal with uh, finding profit, but it, to get profit, we need revenue. So profit is revenue minus cost. And revenue is the price that you're selling at times the number of objects if the, there's a fixed price. And we're going to say that there is a fixed price based on that function right there. So we got to calculate revenue. So that's going to be uh, X times the price. So X times negative 100 X plus 400. And then from that, we have to subtract the cost right here. So 100 X plus 10,000. And so let's clean that up a little bit. So we're gonna get a negative 100th X squared plus we'll have 400 X minus 100 X, which should give us a 300 X from those two terms and then minus the 10,000. So this right here is our uh, profit function. So let's call this capital P of X. Okay, so that's capital P for profit, not a little p for price. This is price up here, little p, capital P, profit. All right, so uh, we want to find, uh, let's see, the rate of change at 10,000. Now, normally with a rate of change, we need two points. We don't have that, so that means we're going to have to use our uh, instantaneous rate of change formula. So we want to find the limit as x approaches 10,000 of uh, p of x. Oops. Let's just write that out. Actually, I'll put it down in general first. Uh, minus p of 1,000. So I was putting f's there. 10,000. These divided by x minus 10,000. Okay. Uh, so I think. Instead of carrying the limit along for a while, we should uh, kind of plug in and uh, clean up. So I'm not going to write equals here. So P of X is the negative 0.01 X squared plus 300 X minus 10,000. And then we want to subtract the value when we plug in 10,000 here. So let's find a calculator, make that calculation. And actually, I have GeoGebra here. Let's use that one. All right, so I'm going to enter in function notation so it's easier to work with. Equals negative 100 x squared plus 300 x plus 10, 1, 2, 3. Make sure I type that correctly. minus 10,000. All right, and then that lives here somewhere. So we're going to have to uh, adjust this. So let's go to the tools and get the adjustment here. So we need to see x equals 10,000. And we could just reset the plot, but I can drag it. 4,000, 5,000, okay, I got 10,000 in there. And then our profit's gonna be way up here. So let's drag that down until we can see this curve. So the only way to, other way to do this is to type in some numbers and see what kind of values we get. Okay, cool. So 
here we can see it arcing as a parabola. And again, we are looking at x equals 10,000. So let's plot that point. And 3 comma p of 3. And so there's the point on the graph. And we want to know what's the rate of change, what's the, the slope at that point right there. So what do we get here? One, nine, nine, and then one, two, three, four zeros. So at that instant, we have a profit of 1,990,000 according to this. And we have to divide by X minus 10,000. So we got to clean this up a bit. So let's see. That's going to give us, it's going to bump that up a little bit, right? Double check the calculator. Okay, two million. Clean that up. We now have negative 0 0.01 x squared plus 300 x minus 2 million divided by x minus 10, 1, 2, 3. And usually with things like this, uh, the denominator divides into the numerator so we could uh, I guess we could do synthetic division or long division or just guess at factoring. So I think I'll try guessing at factoring. So the factors here should be, one of them ought to be the X minus 10,000 based on other work we've done where the denominator canceled. So let's just say this one is X minus 10,000. And then the other one's gonna have to be negative 0.01X and then that's going to be plus, and then whatever that number is there, which we should be able to figure out here. Um, oh yeah, 10,000 goes into 2 million how many times? Let's see. One, two, three, four, looks like 200 times. So that right there should be 200. And we could double check that by multiplying it out. I think that looks good. So let's see. Yeah, I guess we better check by multiplying that out. Um, so 200 times 10,000 should be 2 million. Yep. And then for the middle terms, we're gonna have uh, 0 0.01 times 10,000. And then what are the signs there? That's going to be a negative times a negative, and then 200 times 1. It should give us the 300 in the middle. Okay, so that checks out. Let me check those coefficients. So now we want the limit of this thing right here, and then we got lucky, as we do in many of these lovely calculus problems. Isn't that beautiful? That works out. Uh, and these numbers up here really aren't that special, by the way. This is just a marvel of calculus. So now we've simplified this to the limit as x approaches 10,000 of negative 0.01x plus 200. And so at this point, the limit laws say, hey, if the limit exists, we can just plug it in. So let's plug in the 10,000 and see what we get. So we're going to get uh, the change in profit over time is equal to negative 0 0.01, so 100 times the x value 10,000 plus 200. And so I get a rate of change of 100 if I type that right. And what does that number mean? So 
that this evaluates to 100. And that is a change in profit, so that's going to be dollars per change in X, and X is the number of gaming systems. So they're, they have a profit of $100 per gaming system that they sell. So their, their profit is increasing at this point. Uh, so since profit is increasing, then they should increase production uh, so that they can make more money. If profit was decreasing at this point, we would say, whoa, slow down, we're making too many and we're not making enough money off each one, is basically what this is telling us right here. We have increasing profit. And we can see that here in the graph. So I can graph that tangent line by taking y minus the y value there, which is 1,990,000 equals the slope, which is 100 times x minus 10. And so there is that lovely tangent line giving us the, the rate of change of profit at that instant, that, that point in, in their production where they're they're selling, making and selling 10,000 units. So uh, if they increase uh, production, then they're going to have more profit. We can clearly see here. Nice. Thanks for playing.